My name is George Braithwaite and I am uh, originally from Guyana, which as you may know used to be British Guyana uh, and after independence they dropped the British and became Guyana. Uh, came to New York in 1959, started working at the United Nations a few months later and that's where I actually started playing table tennis because uh, I was going through some documents one day <clears throat> and found a hard rubber racket among the documents and then I understood that there was a guy from Ghana he kept the racket there because it was closer to the freight elevator that took him up to the uh, table tennis club but after he left the UN uh, he also left the racket and um, I went upstairs which was on the 41st floor of the United Nations and I played a little I wasn't any good because uh, at the time I was into track and field <clears throat> so Having found this racket during the winter season, I started playing and uh, that's how the whole thing got started. Well, <clears throat> table tennis or ping pong, as it's known worldwide, uh, is a game and a sport that you can easily become hooked on so to speak. Um, it's very addictive and uh, I started playing every day uh, sacrificing my lunch period to just play uh, because apart from enjoying the sport uh, there were a lot of pretty ladies in the club room anyway so uh, it was easier to hang out among them. And, um, After I became, I started realizing that I was becoming better and better at the game. So I continued playing uh, during my lunch period and uh, at nights uh, after work. And in 10 short years, uh, this all started in um, around 61, 1961. So in 10 short years, I made the United States team because I, I practiced so hard. Uh, I was selected to go on a goodwill tour of Central America, Nicaragua, Guatemala, and El Salvador, and uh, <clears throat> to do uh, exhibitions. So when I came back, uh, Apparently, the U.S. Table Tennis Association was very Im impressed with the reports they got. So, at the trials, I once again made the team to the World Championships in 1971. This was held in Nagoya, Japan. Uh, and it was the first time uh, in a long time that the Chinese team was playing again at the World Championships. So everyone knew how good they were uh, prior to their departure, so to speak, um, because they were taking care of their cultural revolution at the time. And um, <clears throat> so we would flock around their practice tables and sessions to try and learn something because we knew how good they were before and uh, we actually struck up a friendship with them to the point where they extended an invitation to us to come to China 
and that became known as a ping pong diplomacy in April of 71. So uh, that's how that actually got started. That's beautiful, wow.